Hey there, YouTubers. I want to do a quick video on my Harbor Freight trailer. This is the uh, 4x8 foldable trailer, and it's rated for 1,200 pounds. I, I just got back from a road trip with it, and uh, I've got about a total of 3,500 miles on this trailer the way it sits right here. Uh, I don't think I'm using it for its intended purpose, so I would say this is a little bit extreme for what this is meant for. Um, the trailer holds the weight fine it is bouncy it's a light trailer um, before I built anything on it the trailer was 269 pounds um, let's see what else it tracks real good behind the car I'm happy with the trailer um, there's just some there, there's some things I'm going to show you here uh, that I think it's uh, the paints coming off a little soon the tires of course they aren't great so let's go around this here and I'll show you what's going wrong with it and uh, and how it's holding up after 3500 miles of highway use all right, let's start up here at the front of the coupler. Um, sometimes it doesn't want to go onto the ball very easily. This thing, uh, this piece in here catches, and uh, it's sometimes it's a real pain to put on, and you really gotta fight with it. A couple of times, uh, it took me a few minutes to get this thing loaded on here, just because uh, the the piece that holds onto the ball was was caught up, and uh, that can be a pain in the butt. Um, but for most of the time, it it works. Uh, this jack is an accessory, obviously. It's not a great jack. It's a Harbor Freight jack. You can pick them up for around 20 bucks. They do the job, but uh, they are kind of wobbly. Uh, my dad's got one on his, and uh, it broke on him. He had to replace it. So far, mine's been working all right. So as you go up the frame here, uh, I'm not having any issues with uh, where the tongue goes on. There's no cracking up there. Everything's, everything's been good with that, and this thing has bounced quite a bit. Let's make our way to the tire. It's a 12 inch tire. Um, it's rated for 55 miles an hour. So, you know, when you're running highway speeds, you know, you're, you're well over what this tire was meant to do. And uh, I've had this thing up to about 85 miles an hour. Uh, yeah, I know that's not always a safe thing, but sometimes on the highway, you've got to get around the trucks. You've got to get away from some of the other drivers. Um, so. You know, you're going to do those speeds. You're not going to be able to do 55 miles an hour all the time if you're on the highway. Uh, I did put some grease in on the last trip and this trip just to make sure that there was plenty of lube in these hubs. I don't know if uh, doing highway speeds is making these hubs a little bit too warm and it's throwing that grease out or if I put too much grease in. But I did use a wheel bearing grease. Uh, so, you know, maybe I put too much in. Either way, you can see where it's spinning out and uh, on the back side of this uh, wheel it's even worse and you can see where it's coming up on my trailer so I'm not sure what the issue is there but you know I am using it in a way that it wasn't meant to be used and you see my brackets from my light they're already rusting I bought this trailer last year at the end of 2016 I think it was in October that I started this build and it's June 2017 now and these are already rusting now this thing is not stored outside it is stored in the garage when I'm not using it. Uh, you can see uh, the seals coming out of my light here. Here's uh, the other wheel. Uh, it's doing the same thing. Um, I filled it up with air uh, to the specifications on the tire and I was getting a lot of wear in the center like it was overinflated. So I dropped it way down and it seemed to help out a lot. It uh, evened out the wear on it. But let me show you something on the other tire real quick while I'm thinking about it. I noticed this on the way back on this trip here you can see how the wear marks on this center piece here they're uh, real jagged and they've been ripped off if you're going to use this trailer in the manner like that I am or if you're going to be on the highway I would suggest the first thing you do is upgrade your tires um, this will get you around town if you're using it as it was intended just as a utility trailer for you know your dumb shit around town these tires will be fine. If you're gonna be traveling, you're gonna to have to replace the tires. I think that's just gonna be a safety issue. All right, some of the other things, um, you can see these were black, and they're rusting already. Let's see, that center beam that goes across, it's got rust on it. The paint's peeling off there. The paint's coming off here. And like I said, I store this in the garage, so. It doesn't have a great 
the paint doesn't hold up that great is what I'm trying to say here. So getting a little bit of rust down in here. Up here on the tongue. You can see where that's chipping off. I mean overall for what I've done to the trailer, as I, I know I'm using it harder than it's meant to be used. Uh, it's been holding up great. I didn't weld anything, so it's a bolt together frame and it's holding up fine as far as the bolts not backing out. Nothing's cracking, nothing's bending. But that's a look around it at 3,500 miles of what I would call hard use. Uh, I'm not saying these are bad trailers. Uh, if you're just a weekend warrior and you're not going super far, this is going to be great. There's people that get a lot of miles out of their trailers. Um, I bought another trailer. It's still in the box. I haven't put it together. I haven't, I haven't put it together yet. I would like to build another camper, but I'm not sure this is the frame that I want to use. So take that into consideration. Um, hope you guys found some use for this video. Leave your comments down below the video. Um, tell me what, what your guys' experience with these are. Uh, maybe you can help somebody out that's looking to build one of these. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, like and subscribe.